Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to read this story with you today. We are going to talk about the Ojibwe people and what they do and have in their homes. It is a special thing named as the dream catcher. Similarly, as our title, say it again, the dream catcher. That's amazing. The genre of our lesson is a realistic fiction. Please bring your reading book and open on page 38 to follow along. Peter walked home from school. Salty tears ran down his cheeks and his stomach hurt. He didn't know what to do. Grandmother was waiting for him on the front porch. What's wrong, Bayan? said Peter's grandmother. Bayan was the Ojibwe name for Peter. He called her Nokomis, which means grandmother. Peter looked up. I have to give a presentation where I talk about a family tradition. I know we have lots of beliefs and customs. Can you remind me of one? Nokomis smiled and nodded her head. Come with me, she said. Peter followed Nokomis. She went to a closet and stretched to reach the top shelf. She pulled out a small box and blew away the dust. She handed it to Peter. Open it, she said. Peter opened the box. He spotted a wooden hoop inside. It was in the shape of a circle. String was woven and twisted around the hoop. It looked like a spider web, a black bead sat near the center. Feathers hung from the bottom. Peter wiped away his tears and smiled. This is a dream catcher, said Nokomis. Our people have made these for many years. Circles are symbols of unity and strength. Let's hang it over your bed tonight. It will catch your bad dreams in the web, and your good dreams will fall through the center. Maybe it will give you courage to do your presentation. Can I take this one to school? asked Peter. No, Bayan, said Nokomis. This dream catcher is precious. I got it when I was your age, and it means a lot to me. Peter felt disappointment because he wanted to share the dream catcher with his class. We could make you one, said Nokomis. I'd like that, cried Peter. Nokomis and Peter worked together and made a dream catcher. That night, as he gazed and looked at the dream catcher over his bed, he made a plan. The next morning, he told Nokomis his plan. I'm going to show my class how to make a dream catcher, he said. That's a great idea, said Nokomis. Let's celebrate after your presentation. I will bake corn cookies, and we will have a traditional Ojibwe party. Peter shared his dream catcher with his classmates and showed them how to make their own. Peter didn't feel nervous or scared at all. He felt pride in his culture. He felt pride in himself, too.